Okay, so here we're going to look at another derivative problem using the chain rule. So here we're going to find the derivative of 2x cubed minus 5x to the fourth over 4x plus 1 to the fifth. And again, the first thing I recognize on this is, well, I've got a fraction, so I know I'm going to have to use the quotient rule. We can fit all this in here. So remember the quotient rule says we get whatever's in the denominator. So 4x plus 1 to the fifth. And then we have to take the derivative of whatever's in the uh, numerator. So here we'll have to use the chain rule. So the 4 will come out front. Again, we just leave the inside alone. Take 1 away from the exponent. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the 3 times 2 will make 6x. We take 1 away, so to the second power. And then the derivative of negative 5x will just be uh, minus 5. And now um, we'd have to put a minus sign in there for our quotient rule. So then it says we take whatever's in the numerator, so 2x cubed minus 5x to the fourth. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the denominator. So let's, uh, let's do that here. Um, Sorry, I lost my denominator there for a second. <clears throat> Trying to give myself some more room here. All right, so minus the numerator, and now we have to take the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of the denominator in this case, the 5 will just come out front. We'll leave the inside alone, so 4x plus 1 to the 4th. And then we would have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would give us a multiplication by 4. So I think we've got it all fit in there now. Um, and again, that's going to be all over the denominator, so 4x plus 1 to the fifth. All of that is now going to be squared. So let's see if we can't try to condense this down a little bit better, give ourselves a little more room here. So I think what I'm going to do in this case, um, so let's try to factor some stuff and maybe clean this up. So I see that there's a 4 and a 4, so I'm going to factor the 4 out of there. I see a 4x plus 1 and a 4x plus 1. Well, that means I can factor out a 4x plus 1. I've got to the 5th power and to the 4th power. I can pull out the smaller exponent, which is to the 4th power. Um, we also have a 2x cubed minus 5x and a 2x cubed minus 5x. So I'm going to factor that out as well. Again, pull out the smaller exponent, which would be to the third power. And then I see a 6x squared minus 5 in parentheses, but the other factor doesn't have that, so I think that's what we'll factor out. So let's see, we pulled the 4 out. We didn't pull out the correct exponent, um, but I think if we just multiply by a 4x plus 1 to the first power, when we distribute, again, we add the exponents. That'll give us our 4x plus 1 to the fifth. So again, we took care of the 4. We pulled out the correct 2x cubed minus 5x to the third. So I think all we would need now would be the 6x squared minus 5. Let's see, for the second, uh, to get the second term back, okay, so we got, we pulled the 4 out, um, we pulled the 4x plus 1 to the 4th out, we didn't pull the 5 out, so um, let's stick the 5 in there before I forget that. We did, uh, let's see, we pulled out a 2x cubed minus 5x to the 3rd, but we need 2x cubed minus 5x to the 4th, so we'll have to multiply by another 2x cubed minus 5x. And now, um, in the denominator, we would just have 4x plus 1. Okay, so if we multiply the exponents, that'll give us to the 10th power. And at this point, again, we can clean it up, I guess, a little bit more. We might as well go ahead and do it. Um, so a couple things we can do. Notice we have a 4x plus 1 to the 4th and a 4x plus 1 to the 10th. We can actually cancel out uh, the 4x plus 1 to the 4th with uh, 4 of the 4x plus 1s in the bottom. So we're just subtracting exponents. It's like having x to the 4th over x to the 10th. Well, in this case, we would be left with 4x plus 1 to the 6th in the denominator. Okay, so my 2x cubed minus 5x cubed, there's that portion. And in the brackets, we could always just multiply this out and simplify it a little bit more. So 
4x times 6x squared would be uh, 24x to the third. We would have minus, uh, looks like 20x, and then plus 6x squared, and then it looks like we would get a minus 5. And then when we distribute the negative 5, we'll get negative 10x to the third plus 25x. I hope I haven't missed a sign or an exponent somewhere. And last but not least, all I'm going to do is just uh, simplify what's in the brackets, combine my like terms, and then we will be finished. So, all right, so we've got 4, 2x cubed minus 5x to the third. So let me write everything else down here. Okay, so if we simplify what's in the brackets, we've got 24x cubed minus 10x cubed. That'll leave us with 14x cubed. Um, so that stuff's taken care of. Uh, let's do the squares next. So I see a positive 6x squared. Um, we've got negative 20x and positive 25x. So that'll be positive 5x. So that and that is taken care of. And then we're left with the minus 5. And I don't see much of anything else that we can combine here. So I would say this is a very nice sort of beautiful final form. Um, I seriously doubt this last part factors further. Um, so I think I would just leave it there. And uh, uh, I think this is a good place, uh, a nice again. And in general, you want to try to factor things as much as possible. So definitely things are kind of nice and factored. So again, I think this is a good place to leave it.